Soon after power up, the system initializes and indicates all the initial checks, the ROM, RAM, and the wavelength drive mechanism, and also it tests the lamp's condition. And once it passes all the tests, the unit will go to the initial screen. Perkin Elmer Lambda EZ201 spectrophotometer. I'm using two blank cuvettes here, or a blank one as a reference and a blank one as a sample. The, the light sources are under this cover here, a deuterium lamp and a, a tungsten halide lamp, halogen lamp. Oh, they're both working. Two to go to the main menu, click on return and main menu. So in the main menu the options are photochemistry, photometry, wavelength scan, time scan, and multiple wavelength scan. Are available along with various optional functions and calibration procedures. A typical wavelength scan procedure to go there, select option 2 and press enter. And the data mode could be absorption, transmission, and a single beam. Depending on the experiment or the recipe needed, uh, the proper option is to be selected. And the test setup is uh, the start wavelength and stop wavelength and the upscale and low scale, which is the, the parameter, the y-axis parameter we are interested in displaying. Uh, depending on whether it is transmission or absorption, the values have to be selected as per the instructions in the manual. And once all the values are entered, you can give a test name and then go to the instrument setup and select the baseline, whether it is system or user. So before proceeding to the experiment, a baseline has to be recorded in the machine and then in order to start a scan go to wavelength scan enter and press forward key the system will initialize and goes to the, the starting wavelength which is the higher value and hitting the green start button will start the wavelength scan and at any point of time you want to stop it you can press the stop button. There are keys here to go to a wavelength press go to and enter a wavelength number in nanometers. The spectrometer scan drive will go to the particular wavelength whatever is selected and display the value there. So I'm going to start a scan, a trace here.
this is just to demonstrate that the system is sensitive to the sample chamber door. If I open that, the reading jumps up. I'm going to interrupt this and enter a recipe or a wavelength accuracy test. Uh, I'll go to the wavelength scan mode and then select single beam and then uh, start wavelength is 660 and wavelength is 650 the parameters are given in the manual and the scan speed is to be selected by the options the baseline I'm selecting the system baseline and the response fast and both the tungsten lamp and the deuterium lamp should be on and once the parameters are entered, I'm going to start a scan. So here is the peak for the wavelength calibration and it should be close to 656 nanometer, that's what it is showing. So the peak is Plus to 655.9 nanometers. And this is just to confirm that the system is wavelength calibrated. Now this is a a typical scan from 1100 nanometers to 400 nanometers. I don't have any sample in the wet. I'm going to check how this Windex solution will do. And when I start this, it will scan overlay so that you can see the difference between an empty quit and the solution characteristic. This is just to demonstrate that the system detection is working. So the, the chemicals in the solution are absorbing because this is a, a y-axis is transmission. It's what I'm measuring. And it shows less transmission at about 950 nanometers. And then it transmits the other wavelengths from 900 the system should be standardized using the standard solutions using photometry menu and to validate the instrument got to be standardized with the 
desired chemicals of interest to be detected using this instrument. I'm going to check another one which is just a yellow filter. Should have a cutoff wavelength between 600 and 500 nanometers. So the filter is transmitting all the higher wavelengths. This is the third trace here. Transmission is almost 90%. After powering up, the system needs a good warm up time of about 10 to 15 minutes for the lamps to stabilize. That's the cutoff wavelength, around 550, 560 nanometers. 